this is just in Japan on a bike and I am at the bike dealer where my bike is now getting its one month free checkup. That's the first month of ownership checkup. And also, it's a story I'll have to tell you, not now, but uh, some minor repairs because I went and dropped it after four weeks. So uh, I'll tell you more about that in another video or maybe the podcast. So I'm upstairs in the dealer and just curious because I've been to this dealer several times, but I've never been upstairs. So these are all like little mopeds and um, learner machines and things down this end. Let's see what we've got further along. Um, yeah, these are all tiny and some of these, are, oh, these are used, aren't they? These are all used machines. Not much of interest here. Um, I have to say I'm not very, oh, the SR400, very, very popular bike. I'm sure they've got a leaky roof there. It's got water on the back of that bike. Um, this looks like a drag star, a little 250 maybe. Or I'm not sure if it's a 400 or a 250. I can never tell. Uh, 400, that's a 400 drag star. The 400 drag star, the mini American, is also shaft drive and air cooled like the big 1100 drag star. Uh, but the 250 is chain driven. The 250, uh, they're both V-twins. Um, I think if you're starting out, and these are popular with ladies, the 250 drag stars. I've seen, um, they used to be very popular. Uh, the uh, Rebel 250 now seems to be the most popular one. Um, I really like the big 1100 drag star, but it's just not practical for my needs in Japan. I think if I lived in the, uh, in a, in a, place of big open roads I may consider it um, Volti yeah uh, the um, a Suzuki I think the Suzuki Volti isn't it uh, very very popular bike amazingly popular it used to be anyway I'm not sure about now but very very popular bike now it's worth noting that the 250 class in Japan, up to 250cc, you, d you don't qualify, your bike doesn't qualify for government inspection or the uh, gov national government tax, as far as I'm aware. Um, well, it's pretty boring up here. <laughs> so, uh, some little old machines. I think they're overpriced, really, for what they are. I mean, you could get you could get something brand new for not much more. In fact, some of these bikes are almost the price of something new. I like the seat on that. Whereas well, retro style, it's, it's totally, uh, it's a vinyl seat that, but it's um, quite a nice uh, retro seat on that. Some scrambler looking machines here. This is very, very brief video while they're, uh, repairing my bike more about that to come Her horrible weather today torrential rain tried out the rain suit um, got a little bit wet from sweat not from the rain the uh, rain suit did me very well it's totally uh, keeps the rain out lives up to what it claims to do uh, what do we got here jigsaw yeah i've seen these um it's funny that uh, the nicknames then become the official names so We've got a little jigsaw. What's this? A one two five, I suppose. I don't know what. They, I think they do a one. I forget. They do a, a one fifty or something, or one two five. I think if you're starting out for somebody young and you're starting out, I think a bike like that would be pretty good, actually. I think I would go for something like that. Um, so uh, Ninja two fifty R. Another Ninja two fifty R. CBR 250R, so these are the race, the uh, lightweight mini race bikes. And uh, yeah, another Ninja 250. There we are really, just a quick one, just to show you uh, the upstairs of the dealer. 
So these seem to be all the smaller used machines. Actually, I don't see any large used bikes in this shop. That's an interesting one. Don't know what that's all about. Anyway, this is just in Japan on a bike. Talk to you again soon.